The Amazon is the world's biggest rainforest, larger than the two next largest rainforests in the Congo Basin and Indonesia combined. At 2.72 million square miles, the Amazon Basin is roughly the size of the 48 United States and covers some of 40% of the South American continent. It's so huge! It's such a big puddle! We know it's big, but what about the insane, unexpected, baffling things found inside of this mega forest? We're about to show you spiders that build more than webs, magic plastic-eating mushrooms, trees that can walk it out, and birds you have to smell to believe, and so much more. Here are 15 outrageous things you'll only see in the Amazon. Number 15. The Silk Hinge Spider Let's start in the jungles where a mysterious spider crafts towers out of silk, confounding scientists with its intricate creations. It's one of the UK's most famous landmarks, and now Stonehenge has been recreated by a spider. Look at this unbelievable footage of a spider spinning an intricate version of Stonehenge called Silkhenge in Peru. Strange structures featuring a central tower of silk with a fence of silk spiraling around it. Our spider is a completely new species, so its DNA doesn't match to the DNA of any other species. Not only are the clever spiders still unidentified, no one has ever seen the arachnids actually make these works of art. A new video of spiderlings hatching from around one of the towers collected in Ecuador's Yasumi National Park might provide some clues about these spiders' secret lives. Watch baby spiders erupt from a mystery web tower, or white picket fence structure. Whatever the name, it's a spider egg surrounded by mystery. Scientists were baffled, and why the arachnid would go to such enormous lengths for a single egg didn't make much sense. Now, let's get ready for today's open discussion. In the depths of the Amazon rainforest in Brazil live tribes who have no contact with the outside world, the uncontacted Indians of Brazil. The apparent aggression shown by these people is quite understandable. They're members of one of Earth's last uncontacted tribes who live in the thick rainforest along the Brazilian-Peruvian frontier, thought never to have had any contact with the outside world. And considering the damage to the belly of the plane and its wings, the first people of the Amazon were not happy, or perhaps afraid. Could you imagine what our world looks like to them? Or maybe consider your own life without the basic privileges we take for granted, or even better, how do we grow together as we move into the future while respecting the traditions of their delicate community? Your feedback is amazing. Comment below with the hashtag open discussion. You want to know a little secret? If you smash the like button, subscribe, and click the notification bell, you'll have superpowers for the rest of your life. So what are you waiting for? Time to fly. Number 14, Glass Frogs of the Amazon. Among the many weird and fascinating amphibians on our planet, there's nothing like the glass frogs of the Amazon. This amazing frog family has a transparent skin, allowing us to view inside its small body. They're so transparent that it almost looks as if they melt into the leaves and become one of them. Transparent animals like these frogs are spectacular to see. Glass frogs live in among the trees and plants of human mountain forests in Central and South America. Conservationists are especially interested in these beautiful frogs because they may be good bioindicators. A bioindicator is a species that provides clues about the health of the environment where it lives. As the Earth's weather changes, some of the rain and cloud forests where glass frogs live are becoming too dry, making life difficult for the frogs, as well as other plants and animals. By watching the Amazon's glass frogs, scientists can learn so much more about these forests and the amazing species that inhabit them. I wonder if you can keep them as pets. Number 13. Plastic Eating Fungus Could a solution to various environmental issues be solved with a secret from the Amazon? A group of students and professors from Yale University have found a fungus in the Amazon rainforest that can degrade and utilize the common plastic polyurethane. A mushroom that eats plastic? Now that sounds complex. The mushroom, that has a technical name much too tough for me to pronounce, are capable of surviving on plastic alone. It consumes polyurethane, the main ingredient in plastic products, and converts it into organic matter. The fact that they can also live without oxygen makes them a perfect candidate for cleaning up landfills. 
However, if that's too grand of a task for the mushroom to carry out, scientists believe that their plastic consuming skills could be applied in the household setting. They envision a world where at-home recycling kits could be a part of the average kitchen appliance setup, maybe right along with the stove and fridge, for instance. In addition, community recycling centers could have fungi systems built in to utilize the process. So sign me up. Number 12, the man of the hole. Extremely rare video footage has emerged. Want to see the loneliest man in the world? The 50-something-year-old man has been living alone in the Amazon for over 25 years after the last members of his tribe were murdered. The shaky video, filmed at a distance and released by the Brazilian government, shows a muscular man cutting a tree with an axe. The footage has been shared around the globe, but there's more to it than meets the eye. The man is classed as uncontacted, meaning no outsider has ever spoken to him, as far as it's known. He's believed to be the only survivor after a group of six were attacked by farmers in 1995. His tribe has never been named, and it's not known what language they used. For years, the Brazilian media has dubbed him the whole Indian because he leaves behind deep ditches, presumably used to trap animals or to hide in. In the past, he's also abandoned straw huts and handmade tools such as resin torches and arrows. To protect him from external threats, the government has been keeping tabs on the man from a distance, which is probably a good idea. Number 11. The Boiling River The Boiling River hovers on the boundary between scientific fact and myth. In a rainforest in the heart of the Amazonian Peru, scientists believe they've discovered the world's largest thermal river, running hot for nearly 4 miles and reaching up to 80 feet at its widest point and 16 feet at its deepest. While the river's extreme temperatures are not unusual for geothermal surface, it's deemed remarkable in that it's not volcanic. The nearest active volcano area is actually more than 430 miles away. The so-called Boiling River is said to be the crown jewel of an unusual collection of three non-volcanic rivers in the area, which also include the Salt River, a salty thermal stream, and the Hot River, a thermal freshwater stream both much smaller in comparison to the Boiling River. Fed by both boiling and near-boiling hot springs, the river also feeds several thermal waterfalls along its length, the most impressive of which has a 20-foot drop into a large thermal pool. Some parts of the river are said to be so hot that various animals that have fallen into it have boiled instantly. So no swimming allowed. Number 10. Amazonian Pink Dolphins Reputation? Bodos, or Amazon River Dolphins, are pink, quiet, solitary, blind, mythical mammals, but the reality is that they're real and not mythical. The Amazon River Dolphin, also known as the Pink River Dolphin, or Boto, lives only in fresh water. It's found throughout much of the Amazon and Orinoco River basins in Bolivia, Brazil, Colombia, Ecuador, Peru, and Venezuela. It's a relatively abundant freshwater dolphin with an estimated population in the tens of thousands. However, it's classified as vulnerable in certain areas due to the dams that fragment and threaten certain populations, and from other threats such as contamination of rivers and lakes. The scientific view of the dolphin is a little more mundane, but not without its own mysteries. The truth is that the Boto, one of the few remaining freshwater dolphin species on Earth, is still something of an enigma. We don't know how many there are in the wild or how many species they fall within. We don't even know for sure why this strange dolphin is often a delicate shade of pink. But it's cool, we like pink. Number 9. The Amazon Stonehenge The indigenous people of the Amazon may have been more sophisticated than archaeologists first thought. Check these monolithic stones out. Rigo Grande known as the Amazon Stonehenge after the famous prehistoric monument in Wiltshire, England. Experts say that the unusual stone arrangement may have been used as a place of worship, as well as for astronomical observations related to crop circles. Taking its name from a nearby stream called the Rigo Grande, the stone arrangement comprises 127 blocks of granite standing upright in a circle over 98 feet across. Each of the blocks stand up to 13 feet tall and weigh several tons and appear to be irregularly shaped. The stones appear to have been arranged to coincide with the winter solstice, when the sun is at its lowest. The shadow of one of the blocks is said to disappear when the sun is directly above it. 
While the UK Stonehenge is thought to date back to between 3000 BC to 2000 BC, whereas Rigo Grande was constructed later, around 1000 years ago, some 500 years before Europeans began colonizing the Americas. Number 8. The Golden Lion Tamarind Monkey A striking species, golden lion tamarinds are small social Amazonian primates with a magnificent reddish gold coat and a long black swept mane. Nice hairdo, right? Once down to 200 individuals in the wild, intensive conservation efforts have helped the population recover. Still an endangered species, there are about 2,500 in the wild, about a third of which are descendants of golden lion tamarinds raised in human care. In the early 1970s, there were as few as 200 golden tamarinds in the wild. They were upgraded from critically endangered to endangered in 2003, following intensive conservation efforts. So, things are looking better for these good-looking monkeys. Lion tamarinds take their name from their impressive manes, thick rings of hair reminiscent of Africa's great cats. The golden lion tamarind may be the most beautiful of the four lion tamarind species. Its abundant gold hair frames a charismatic black face and covers its small body and tail. Despite their name, these rare primates have far more in common with their monkey relatives than any feline. Still, these monkeys are cool cats for sure. Number 7. The Sunken Jungle Hotel Once a great Amazon hotel, now sunken into the jungle, right into the center of the Amazonian rainforest. On the banks of the Rio Negro, there's a hotel for the adventurous. But sadly, it's not open. But it would be amazing if it was, right? Sporting a Tarzan room 110 feet up a tree, buildings on stilts, and plenty of flora and fauna, a treehouse has never been so epic. With catwalks and docks to get from place to place and tour the area, a sure foot is a requirement, but worth it with sights of a variety of rare and exotic life. Monkeys, dolphins, and hundreds of bird species are possibly furry and not so furry friends to be made. Or at least, that's what was supposed to happen. The hotel's history says that the idea came from oceanographer Jacques Cousteau when he met the hotel's founder on a trip to Manaus. The structural idea originated with the techniques used by natives of the area for building on the edge of rivers. The first building was opened in 1985. In 2015, the government seized the property and planned to sell it to pay off its debt with an asking price of 8.3 million US dollars. A news item in May of 2017 stated that the property would be sold by auction in September of that year. And the jungle just took it over. Number 6. The Peanut Headbug the peanut head bug is the subject of many funny legends. Most of the legends state that the bug's bite is deadly depending on the color of its wings and that its bite is only deadly if the bitten doesn't copulate within 24 hours. Fake news. In truth, the peanut bug is actually a harmless Amazonian plant hopper that has a straw for a mouth and can't even bite. Known as a lanternfly, a peanut-headed lanternfly, or alligator bug, the peanut bug is native to Central and South American countries such as Brazil, Ecuador, Colombia, Venezuela, and Bolivia. The lumpy-headed bugs can be as long as 3 inches and they're known for their protuberances on their heads that resemble lizards or serpents. With a big peanut head like that and its bulky body, you wouldn't think that the bug would be very good at anything. But wrapped up in its body is a main form of protection, its display of fake eyes on its wings, that it uses to confuse predators in regards to its size. If that doesn't work, the bug also has a skunky, stinky spray to ward off predators. Number 5. Walking Palm Trees like the ants from J.R.R. Tolkien's epic Lord of the Rings saga, these trees actually move. But can they walk fast enough to escape the enemy orcs that threaten them? Well, these trees aren't movie stars, but they are famous for another reason. Of the more than 80,000 plant species that some scientists estimate the forests of the Amazon basin may be home to, perhaps one of the most unusual is Socratia exoriza, better known in Spanish as Palmera caminante or in English as the walking palm. The old is gone and the new has come, so let go of these old roots. They must compete with the neighboring trees in the forest that crowd in on them for two things essential to plant life, nutrient providing soil or biomass and sunlight. Scientists soon began to realize that the walking palm employs a method for moving on when the soil is stripped of its meager nutrients. 
By producing new aerial roots, the walking palm is able to very slowly relocate to another part of the forest floor with better conditions for life. Specifically, undisturbed, nutrient-rich soil and improved access to life-giving sunlight. Walk this way, walking palm! Number 4. The Truth Behind El Dorado the dream of El Dorado, a lost city of gold, led many on a goose chase into the rainforest of the Amazon. But it was all wishful thinking. It was actually not a place but a person, as recent archaeological research confirms. The European myth that arose of El Dorado as a lost city of gold waiting for discovery by an adventurous conqueror encapsulates the Europeans' endless thirst for gold and their drive to exploit these new lands for their monetary value. At its heart is a true story of a rite of passage ceremony carried out by the Musca people who have lived in central Colombia from 800 AD to the modern day. When a leader died within Musca society, the process of choosing a new golden one would unfold. This moment would mark the point at which these people would commit allegiance to their new leader. Fascinatingly, many aspects of this interpretation of events have been validated by painstaking archaeological research. Research that also reveals the exceptional skill and scale of gold production in Colombia at the time of European arrival in 1537. Number 3. The Giant Fishing Spider Huge spiders give most people the creeps, but spiders that can catch and eat fish reach a whole new level of yikes. The giant fishing spider can also walk on water. This is due to the fine hairs on their legs acting as cushions so they don't break the surface tension of the water. That said, they can even stay submerged for up to an hour. I got a really good point to make with you, you're beautiful. This is due to them surviving off the air that gets trapped in their little leg hairs. They catch fish by diving underwater and piercing them with their fangs. They then drag it to the surface to eat. Not only can these large spiders pounce on fish that find themselves temporarily out of the water, they can also dive and even swim under the water. Here, they can wait for many minutes, fully submerged, ready to ambush, unsuspecting fish prey. They can be found from Peru and Ecuador to Brazil and Venezuela, playing a significant role in shaping the ecology and behavior of some fish. No doubt this giant fishing spider plays a role in a lot of Amazonian creatures, a scary one. Number 2. The Stinkiest Bird in the Amazon It's true, these birds smell bad and they're called Hotsin birds. Physically, behaviorally, and even historically, the Hotsin bird is pretty darn weird. Let's find out what the stinkiest bird crown comes from. This so-called stink bird reeks of fresh cow manure or sweet-smelling hay because of its unusual diet. The bird has a special digestive system to process the huge quantity of foliage it needs to provide enough energy. A meal takes up to 45 hours to pass through their systems. This is why these birds loaf around for up to 80% of the time. They're effectively chewing the cud. It takes work, people. Nicknamed the stink bird or the skunk bird, the Hotsin is also unique in being the only avian species with a digestive system that ferments vegetation in the stomach, same as a cow. Even though it doesn't regurgitate food in the manner cows do, this animal's unusual digestive system gives the bird an odor so unpleasant that it's rarely, if ever, hunted by humans for food. And that's fine by us. Number 1. The Bizarre Po 2 Check out the eyes on this guy. They don't even look real. It looks like someone painted ping pong balls and stuffed them onto the funny owl. But rest assured, this species does definitely exist, despite its cartoonish vibes. The Po 2 is certainly one of a kind in the animal world, sometimes called poor me ones, after the haunting cause. They also are known to be extremely vocal. You're probably used to waking up to birds chirping merely in the morning, but the Po 2's call is a little different. It's less of a chirp and more like a weird shout. However, this bird is known for its camouflage, which it uses as a defense against local predators. It looks identical to a tree branch or a piece of wood, and unless predators know exactly what they're looking for, potus can easily deceive them. Not only do their bugged out eyes help the birds see efficiently in the dark, but they can locate a tiny insect from a far distance away. This makes the potu a very talented hunter. Its big eyes make it look almost like a puppet or a creation from a Jim Henson movie. 
those were 15 outrageous things you'll only see in the Amazon. Thanks for watching.